no chemistry at all with this <laughs> stupid co-host. Like this one? Of course, the mummy goes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sudden burst of energy. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. I love, I love Ayam Penyek. You also love, <laughs> you also love what I say. Ayam Penyek, come on man. The name is Ayam Penyek. So okay. it obviously has to be the cucumber. What? It has to be the ayam lah, right? The ayam has to be juicy, deep fried. Mm. Okay, I'll take over from here. Okay, Maybe go. we'll have the creo, the crunchy bit. Kera, kera. No, because when you make that, when you bite, what sound does it make? <laughs> that's, that's a freaking pigeon yeah. up there. Actually, to me, the most important part is the sambal. I will get like them bad mood if the sambal not nice. Sambal is the most flavorful aspect, so I feel like it has to be like the, the most important part. It's the better of the chicken also. But that, that's where the flavor comes from. These are the small things that, you know, matter lah. Yeah. So bad I open it. It's like when you take a bite, then like... <laughs> you fight, you take a bite, then you fight. <laughs> Ice cream, maybe rice, a bit fluffier, well flavored, crispy chicken, and nice spicy sambal. I'm not really particular whether it's more towards a sweet or savory side. As long as it's spicy, then I will like it. And with that being said, I guess that's exactly why it's on the we are here. Segway like a compo with that being said. Okay, we are at where again? ABC. <laughs> Take it from here. We are at ABC Brickworks Market and Food Center. But yes, our first ayam penyet place will be over here. You ready to makan? Yes. Let's go. Um, you will order lah because I don't order. So for you usually your boyfriend so I yes. have you yes, order yes, yes. The food like or something missing your boyfriend also ask. Correct. Very okay. good, very good. <laughs> Translation, brother. One ayam penyet, Thai. Oh, eat. Thai. Okay, first up we have Project Penyet by Ansar. Served by? Zainul. Zainul, <laughs> correct. So first glance, what do you think of this uh, ayam penyet? Does it look like a typical ayam penyet to you? Seems to have a lot of everything. Two dollops of... Uh, Two dollops? <laughs> I see, I see. Oh, what? Sambal. Sambal. And then the crumbs on the chicken, right? The kriuk, kriuk lah, you call it. <laughs> really, meh? It's kerak. That's why I like, what the hell is a kriuk? But the thing is, I'm just to find out if the rice is white rice or chicken, chicken rice. rice. I prefer the one with chicken rice. If like plain rice only, then it's dependent on like the sambal and like the chicken. I think it's chicken rice. Ooh. Oh shit, how to describe chicken rice? Fragrant. Fragrant. Uh... <laughs> Texture of the rice a bit. Like I thought it would be like the fluffy soft kind. What am I eating? Mm. Chicken rice. I get what you mean by like the texture is on the harder side. Like it's a little crunchy. <laughs> what? Firstly, there's the sambal. Do you, you usually squeeze the lime on the sambal? Eh, no eh. Do you eh, like eh. to try it? Yeah, yeah, I can. You want to eat the sambal just like that? Because you cannot take spice. Uh, what? Since when I cannot take spice? Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> wow. Mmm, nice eh. I like that the... Ooh. Oh, wait! I, I like this kind of uh, sambal. It's a sweet and spicy one. Mm. How to oh yeah, it's sweet. Why is it sweet? I prefer it when it's like salty and savory only. Oh, savory, I see, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice. Very juicy, first of all. I like the fact that there's a lot of kerak. Good portion of skin. I love the skin on the chicken. So if I'm not wrong, while I was you know, observing the process of him cooking, you know, Mr. Zaino, I saw that the chicken was double fried. It still retained the crispiness outer coat. So the meat is still juicy and moist. Can I take the soup? Actually, the soup doesn't really matter to me when it comes to ayam penyet. Oh, the soup, the ginger taste is quite strong. Nice, eh? It has a bit of a kick when I swallow it. Okay, uh, you were saying you don't really care about the soup, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I call, sorry. Oh, no, you can say. What do you say? Because like, when you put the soup, then like, the sambal will be dissolved, what? I can envision it now. All of it piecing together. Can I do that now? Mm. Actually, now that I eat it together, I would like to retract my statement on the sambal. Actually, it's quite nice, ah. You put too much lime. It's Hafiz fault, it's not Project Penyet fault. But the rice to me still never like stand out that much, which is still fine. Huh? The chicken do. Compared to you, I do like the sambal. I prefer it a bit on the sweeter side because it's still spicy. These two, it goes together. I've been to the food centre but not for this. Auntie Shah Mayan Penyek. Is it Auntie Shah? <laughs> you want to ask? 
Ah, uh, it's a bit secretive. Ah, uh, one ayam penyet makan. Okay, there's one uncle here, and then inside is like a, a machi inside. Mm-hmm. Based on the demographic, you can tell this has been around for very long, <laughs> and it must be good, lah. Okay. <laughs> Just felt the need to shout okay, lah. Like. <laughs> Anti sham ayam penyet. Sham. Wooden plate here. Which serves, which holds the chicken, <laughs> tahu, tempe, tempe. A lot more than ingredients. Right? Yeah, this one looks very like homey, you know. This looks like white rice. Yes, yeah. Not not nasi ayam. The sambal looks very rich. It looks more like your savory kind of sambal Ooh. that you might like. Ooh. The soup wise looks like there's more things to it as compared to the previous one. Like it's a bit murkier, but not in a bad way. One more thing for the chicken, it looks. This like, is so kunyit, you know. Yeah, it looks much more yellower. Probably a lot more flavored. The batter looks thicker, so. I hope the chicken is not very tough. First glance, it looks. It, like looks, it looks like that. First confirmation. What rice? Ah? It's white rice. It's white rice. I'm gonna try the chicken first. The skin and all feels like it's uh, deeply has been deeply fried to perfection. But the inside, yeah, a bit dry. Mm. Mm. I like the flavor of it. Me too. But yeah, lah. It's a little bit dry. A bit dry. What we could have done is ask for a Thai piece. The seasoning used in this, but it's so strong. But I like that. I think it's also because I used to this kind of taste from like homemade cooking. The karak is more crunchier, some like It's thicker. As compared to the previous one, it's yeah. a bit more airy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, propo, propo, I would try the sambal. Really? Or like, yeah. And a bit of table gems. One more propo. A bit left out vibe. <laughs> Wait, I like this kind better. I feel like oh. I've tasted this kind of sambal before. I think it's got ikan bilis inside. It gives it a very nice uh, fishy. Uh. Fishy. <laughs> fishy, uh, maybe. Mami. Oh mommy! Oh, mommy. Yeah. Finally get to use that word. Tofu and tempeh. I'm assuming they deep fry it in the same batter as the chicken. Oh, I thought it was me, it's you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I apologize on your behalf. <laughs> I mean, because it has the same flavor as this one, that's why I like it. I'll give you a smaller piece of the tempeh. Ooh. This one is more flavorful. I like, I like. How is it an addition to the penis? Additional proteins. Oh. For the gains. You know, that's why Indonesian people are very buff. <laughs> oh, soup, soup. Give it a shot. I think it's gonna be kambing soup. I think so too. Oh, it tastes more like mee soto. Yeah, it does. Uh. I don't think they will put like beef soup for like a chicken dish. I mean, now that you say it, it's giving mee soto. <laughs> it's giving mee soto. Yeah, let's eat it as a whole. It's an amalgamation of, <laughs> of flavors, lah, I would say. Can taste everything. I think that's why maybe the rice is white rice. Right? Mm. Because the food is very flavorful. Really. I agree. I don't know how else to say it, but very nice. Homely is the word. Is it? If my mom were to make, then she got made before. Maybe not. <laughs> I would say can be a better. The chicken, as we mentioned, it's dry. But because of how homely it is and the value for money, slightly more expensive than the previous one, six fifty. But the thing is, you get like kropo, not just normal soup lah. It's actually soto, and you get the tempeh and tahu. So value for money. Value for money. Where is this place? And have you come here before? Okay, so this is actually Bedok Corner. I have actually visited this stall. But Ooh. I've tried like a few. So I'm not sure if this is the one that like stood out. Okay, because there's a few ayam penyet yes. stalls here. But here it says the best selling nasi ayam penyet. Wow. We'll find out. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, let's order. Okay, Cik. Apa yang paling sedap kat sini? Right. Sebab saya nampak ada banyak. Ada ikan, ayam biasa. Tapi sini ada, ada ayam penyet. Ayam, ayam penyet yang paling best kan? Okay, Cik. Kalau gitu, saya minta. Satu pingan. Satu pingan aja. Ah, satu pingan aja. Cukup. For now, for now. Okay. Yang perah, perah. Bagian perah. Bagian perah saya. Bagian perah saya. Okay, terima kasih. Actually, right, I previously said that ah. I don't know which store I ate from. Ah. Because of this plate, I feel like I legit, I've eaten this before. And I only remember good things. Look at this chunky chicken thigh. In terms of the kerak-kerak ah, or kriuk-kriuk ah, there's a lot of it. And it mm. looks, it looks like if I bite into it ah, offer them crunchy one. But yeah, the tempeh is so big. So I think portion-wise looks good. Sambal-wise, the color looks very promising so it's a dark red mm. uh, looks good my only concern now the plate is a bit small okay, okay. because we, the portions are big we must move the soup away then okay. you put the chicken here <laughs> as per you should try uh, one by one <laughs> really quite nice uh. how to explain uh? oh mummy <laughs> 
Most definitely chicken rice. If you compare it to the first one, the texture of this one is softer. Mm. Definitely a lot more flavorful. A lot more right? fragrant. A lot more fragrant and flavorful. It's a bit salty. Ooh. Bit. Okay, 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 okay. A bit. <laughs> okay, so the next one is chicken, right? Mm. Nice. And the crust is nice. But in terms of the chicken, I expected it to be a bit more juicier. Mm. Oily, right? But it's the kind of oily that hits because it's the like you eat, right? You know you're going to have a very good nap afterwards. I can't wait to eat the sambal though. Ooh. Mm. Wow. The nicest out of all the sambal so far. I think it's, a, it is, it's very nice actually. Huh. I think there's a little bit of like sourness. Mm. But like, I like it. Tangy. 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 That's the word. But overall, I think this sambal is more kick. <laughs> you eat like tempe. you eat. taste is stronger. Tahu ah. Nice ah. Just I'm an easy sure. man to please ah. <laughs> the soup. I remember I like this soup because they use the bawang goreng like very big. But I remember it's like a little oily. Very nice chicken rice soup. I agree. Okay, you know what? I can't wait to try everything together. Yeah. It will fly away. Oh. It's thin to me. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> and the sambal. Hey, you put it perfectly onto the chickens, yeah? A little skill there. Eh? Uh, some say I've been to 320 <laughs> stores today. La. I'm so happy eating this. Eh? For this one, right? I think why I'm, I feel it's so good. A lot of parts of the dish is distinctive also. Mm. And actually also the soup. I think this kind of soup is the one that I'll be okay to eat with my ayam penis. Specifically, it's the Malay chicken rice soup. What I've eaten the Chinese one before. Oh. So, final thoughts. Uh, I think there's a reason why people are willing to come to Bedok Corner. And this stall or this ayam penis is definitely one of the reasons. Wow. Shit. Ooh. I said. I think this kind of ayam penis is exactly the kind that I would look for if I was raving it. And see that they are very dedicated to making a nice uh, uh, not in terms of uh, the taste also, but also the looks. La. It's a complete set, la, complete package. Mm. And personally, for me, it's been a while since I've been this full. La. I think nasi ayam penye has this like effect la, where you eat, then you really want to go and take a nap. I think the last one... Nur Indah Kitchen. Check all my boxes because I feel like I think it's a solid chicken. The sambal also like, wow. The chicken rice also good. The soup also good. Yeah, I think for today, the best one definitely is also the Nur Indah mm. Kitchen. That's why I'm paying it. Chicken, if I go pick, uh, is the first store one. Uh, it's mm. a good, very good balance of like having the crack crack still, yeah. but most importantly, the tenderness or the juiciness of the meat. In terms of price point, I think they all kind of uh, like they're all about the same. Only Maybe plus the minus. First one was $6. $6. Dollars. Yeah. Uh, it didn't suffice for me. Like. No crackers. Come on, man. It's just a basic plate of yeah, yeah, yeah. lah. So, value for money wise, last one. Last one. Yeah. Even though it doesn't have kropo, but hospitality, <laughs> customer <Hospitable>. service. <laughs> I almost thought she was my machi. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Neighborhood Gems. If you like this video, you can watch our other videos over there. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. 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 Yeah, let's find our machi. Oh okay. <laughs>